This is a tutorial for Illustrator CS4 and combinations of symbols. The symbols in use are from graphic extras. They're the sphere designs, pack 68. Right, I'm just going to select a symbol from the symbol uh, library here that I've got open. So I'm just going to drag that over. Now that becomes a symbol, appears in the symbols palette. That's from the symbol library. Right, so I'm just going to now create multiple instances of that and then resize them quickly. So I'm just going to resize, copy another one, resize, resize again, resize, resize. So I'm just going to create just a very basic design here. Well, that's now I'm going to drag that over into symbols. So that are symbols of symbols. So that just I'm not going to give it a name, but uh, I'll just graphic. Okay. Now you can select that symbol, go to the symbol sprayer tool, which is in the toolbox of Illustrator, and just apply that symbol. So the one you've selected will be applied by the symbol sprayer tool. So I'm just going to spray vast numbers of symbols. So then you just get it. Now, the one good thing about symbols is that they're actually very low in resource. So, uh, in terms of, so you, when you save the file, you're only really saving the information about the location, etc., the rotation, and those sort of things, and obviously the instance name. So now I've just got that. Now I'm just going to go to the symbol spinner, which rotates the designs, and you can see the little uh, arrows that will actually indicate the general direction of where all these symbols will be pointing afterwards. So yeah, you've got a, basically a very quick brush stroke design using multiple symbols, multiple spheres, uh, to create a, an interesting background uh, texture effect or other design, depending on what you want to be. Obviously you can use that for any kinds of symbols, so you can combine symbols in multiple ways. You can also combine symbol designs with text designs as well as images and normal paths so uh, and the actual symbols themselves of course can be edited another good thing about symbols is once you've actually created them you actually go to the symbol you can actually replace the symbols with another one so if you create a similar sort of design and then you you can do it you can actually go to the menu and you can do replace symbol so you can replace it at a future point anyway hope you found this tutorial of interest and come back for future ones thank you